Step 10, signing the contract. This part's pretty straightforward. You've reviewed the contract, you're comfortable that we've accurately captured all the details in our conversations about your project into the specification section of the agreement. If for any reason you feel we weren't clear or specific enough on, on one area or another, please call our office and ask for a revision before signing. This is the best way to ensure that we both have a common understanding of what services we'll be providing and what fi the finished product will look like and the associated financial investment you're going to be making to improve your home. Review the payment terms carefully as well as any progress payments that may be required as milestones in the scope of work are reached. If you need to shuffle money from a savings or investment account over your checking account, make sure you put reminders in your calendar to do that. Missing a progress payment or using an online bill pay service that will take two weeks to generate and mail a check could cause delays in the completion of your project. Progress payments are due in a timely manner as milestones are reached. If we're squeezing you into the schedule with an accelerated start date, please be sure to speak to our office staff before dropping a check in the mail. We may opt to pick up your payment in order to ensure there aren't any delays in ordering materials and scheduling your work. As a rule, we do not order materials or schedule projects until signed contracts and deposits are received. If you have any questions, please be sure to touch base with our office staff or our project consultant team. Now, one concern that some customers express after reading some of the horror stories of other problems with contractors is, what happens when I give you this deposit? Unfortunately, there are a lot of contractors that wind up robbing from Peter to pay Paul. They take this customer's deposit and use that to finish the prior job. So what we have set up are separate bank accounts. We have our operating expenses bank account, and that's where all of our active jobs are run out of. When you give us a deposit, that goes into a down payments account that is separate from our operating expenses. We don't touch that money that's been earmarked and set aside until we either order materials for your job or we start your project. That money is set aside and held separately until it's time to get started with your renovation. Once you've signed your agreement, make a copy for yourself, return the original to our office staff with your deposit, and then it's time to schedule the repair or add you to our first in, first out production schedule for renovations. We'll talk about that next in step 11.